hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by in today's video i'm going to be sharing some awesome ways that you can use canvases to make some beautiful home decor and i can't wait to share so let's go ahead and jump in i'm going to start off first with this um, pack of canvases here these are small ones and i also have here some spackle that you can find at dollar tree Lately, I haven't been able to find them. I'm not sure if they took them out and they stopped selling them, but I know before you could find them there. And I have that purple paint along with three different spatulas. You can use whichever one you want, but um, it just depends on the flower petal shape that you are going for because I am going to use this to make some nice flowers on the canvas and i'm gonna make the flowers purple so that is why i am painting the spackle in that purple paint you're just gonna want to mix it up really well as you can see here you make sure that there's no white spots and um you just mix it up really well inside if you wanted if you wanted some of the spackle to stay white obviously you would have to separate you know half and half so you can have still some white spackle but I just needed the whole thing in purple because I'm going to do one big flower on here. So you just want to take some on the back of the spatula. And I've never really done this so it was my first time but it came out pretty good and I end up loving how it looks. It's just like a 3D flower on a canvas and I love it. I have been seeing them on Pinterest and been wanting to try it. So I'm glad I did because it turned out really nice. So you can see that the spatula makes the perfect shape for the flower petal just like that you just want to press it down really well so it can look like a flower petal just like that and then we're going to keep going all the way around so we can make our big flower and depending on how big you put it you can do five petals or six petals it just depends on how big you are doing the flower and I specifically chose purple because this is going to be for my daughter and her favorite color is purple. But of course you can paint the spackle in whatever color that you desire. And yeah, just have fun with this. So you can see here that I am just trying to fix up the petals because as I said, it is my first time trying this. So it's not going to be super perfect, but that's fine because it is spackle at the end of the day. It's not going to be super perfect when you are putting it on the canvas and i ended up loving it anyway and i just love the overall texture and the look of it in the end once it's all dry now i'm going to go in with this pink paint and i'm going to use this for the center of that flower i'm just going to make a dot i'm just going to pour it right out of the tube here and make a nice dot and that's going to be the center of my flower and i do use a q-tip just to kind of maneuver it a little bit more and get that nice and um, a little bit more smooth and pressing that down so you can see it looks really pretty there as the center and then I decided to take some more of that pink paint and I want to make some little falling petals that are just you know maybe off in the wind or something like that and I just take another spatula and I'm just making some leaves just like this with that pink paint and I do a total of three of these because this is a small canvas so I don't want it to look too you know too busy or anything so I make three of them just in you know random spots wherever I think it would look nice and once that is done I'm gonna go in with this beautiful orangey yellow paint and I'm gonna make some dots around the flower and the petals just to give it a nice pop of color and just make it look nice overall so I'm just taking a q-tip so I could get a perfect little circle and I'm gonna do that just in various spots over all over the canvas I also decided to take a little bit more of that purple spackle and make a uh, flower petal that's sort of coming off of the canvas like if it's just off to the side there so I put it right here on the corner on the bottom and I do it the same exact way and you can see it just kind of looks like there's one that's you know slightly off the frame and it just looks nice so once I have that I just decided to add one more thing which is use this green paint so I can make some small green leaves so I took a really fine brush and I dipped it in the paint and I'm just going right I'm 
putting the brush at an angle and I'm just pressing the brush right on to the canvas. You don't even have to do much. Once you press it down and you lift up, it will give you the perfect uh, shape of a leaf. So that is what we are going for. I'm just gonna put that around the flower and now you can see the final look of this DIY. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love how simple it was to make and it was super creative and fun to make as well. I think you should just give it a try if you would like to play and use spackle for your DIYs. I think it turned out really pretty. Let me know what you think. Next up, my friends, I have here another canvas. This one is a little larger. I have also this round sponge that I'm just going to dip right into this white paint because I want to use the sponge to make a texture onto this canvas. So I'm going to just do this movement like this, just pat it down onto the canvas and you're going to see that it's making that texture. I want it to look like sand and you guys this DIY is my favorite from today because one I love the beach and two I just I'm super happy that I decided to try something new and different and it turned out so beautiful and I love it so I'm just making this texture here this is going to be the sand and I do let the first layer dry really nicely and I do the same thing again because I want the texture to really show. It wasn't showing much with the first layer, so I just double layered it and let it dry really well. Once that was done, I did take the same paint and one of my spatulas, and I'm just creating the shoreline here with the same white paint. You can see that it's going on really smooth, and I'm just going to go run the palette right across that canvas, creating the shoreline just to give me, you know, a visual look of where I need to start to put the ocean. So I'm gonna go in with this blue paint. This is a really nice deep blue and I like it. So I'm gonna take some, pour some on a napkin and dip my spatula inside and I'm just going to run it across the canvas. Now that white paint is still wet, but I wanted it like that because I wanted it to blend in a little bit just so it can look like the waves and you know the highlights of the water. So I'm just going to run it across that canvas right on top of the shoreline that I created right uh, previously and I'm just going to um, also try to make waves with the spatula so I am going to make some movements in so it doesn't have to be perfect at all my friends because this is water so there is obviously a lot of movement, movement and it doesn't need to be perfect so that is what is great about this so I'm just going to continue dipping inside of the blue paint and continue um, adding it on the canvas and just playing with it until I like how it looks and you can see here that I'm running it across um, side by side but I do need to add the waves going up and down uh, going the other way because I want the the frame to look like if the shoreline is washing up on the canvas so um, I am going to change that once I you know get it to where I want now I'm just taking a little bit of white paint and I'm gonna add some more highlights inside of the water now you can see I'm going the other way around as I said I was um, wanting the waves to look uh, so I'm just adding some white for the highlights and then I'm going to blend it inside of the water adding some more blue so it's just kind of like you know going back and forth and don't be intimidated by doing this because it it really is just um your own piece of art in your own way it doesn't really have to be perfect because art is not perfect and that's what makes it art and that's what makes it beautiful and you just have fun with it and just enjoy it and give it a try because I tell you that I had fun doing this canvas art and I absolutely love how it turned out so it's just a trust the process kind of thing 
and you will see that you will get the hang of it so you can see all of those white highlights and now I'm taking some of that white paint I'm just pouring it inside of this little container here because I want to add some baking soda I'm gonna mix it really well together I wanted to have a nice texture um, if you had sand I would recommend using sand because it will give you a better texture I just didn't have any on hand so um, I'm just using the baking soda uh, and mixing that really well I did need a little bit more paint and my friends I am super sorry for all of the noise that you hear my neighborhood is super noisy sometimes and there's nothing I can do about that sadly so I hope you don't mind but anyway this is going to give us a nice texture that we need for the shoreline for you know those little foamy bubbles that you see at the shoreline when it washes up onto the sand we're going to create that look here with the spatula and you can see the movement that i'm making with the spatula i'm just kind of curving it a little bit so that it looks like the waves have washed up and then i do get some blue on the spatula because the blue is still wet and we still want it to be wet though because we want to mix it in and blend it in once we add those waves on there so you can see once I have the waves on there I'm going in with a nice brush and I am just going to blend everything in really nicely just so it, can, it won't look so harsh and the waves could look more realistic and I even go in with a second layer of the white textured part for the waves because I do want it to look a little bit layered you usually don't just see one flat layer on the shoreline you see you know multiple lapping on each other so that's what i'm trying to do here so i'm going to add that second layer and then blend it in once again with a paintbrush and just make sure it gets you know really blended down at the bottom as you can see here with just soft really soft strokes so that way it can look like those bubbles are coming right from the water i hope all of you are having a nice evening and a nice sunday if you didn't know i post a video every single sunday every week at 6 30 p.m eastern and i hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button if you are new here so you don't miss all my future videos we do all types of DIYs over here, every decor theme that you could think of. And we like to dip into a lot of different things. We like to try new things, um, right? That's just a part of DIYing. And even if it's not perfect, as I always say, that's just a part of learning. And um, I love to do it with you guys. So consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be a part of our family so you can see there i added some seashells along the shoreline and i was going to put them first around on top of the sand but i decided that the on the shoreline is more better because you usually find them on the shoreline and i really love how it looks my friends i think it turned out really pretty and beautiful i love this and i just can't stop staring at it i absolutely love the beach let me know what you think and if you would give it a try also i'm sure you noticed that the sand is a little bit more tan now that's because i went in afterwards and i just painted it i dabbed it with the same sponge with some tan paint because i thought that it was just a little too white looking so i did the tan and i absolutely love it it is gorgeous let me know what you think moving along my sweet friend i am going to take another one of those canvases along with some jute string and this one is going to be really quick a really quick diy but i absolutely love the outcome i think it's just a great way to make some nice artwork if you don't want to pay you know crazy expensive amount for a canvas art at a store because they are pretty expensive in the store and you can make your own that looks just as nice just using simple stuff so i'm gonna take the juice string and i'm just hot gluing it onto my canvas and you can go any design pattern that you want to go i'm just following whatever my heart tells me to do because um we just want to hot glue the string onto here you can make a pattern if you want you can make shapes you can make whatever you want so it's literally just up to you on how you would like it to look. I'm just doing sort of box patterns or shapes all over this canvas. And you can see it's super easy. Just add 
your hot glue and press that g-string right down and you do want the ends of the g-string if you are going to go over the canvas make sure you wrap it to the back of the canvas so that way it doesn't look a little funny whenever you like if you were to cut it right at the edge of the canvas you're gonna see that it's been cut so i wanted to wrap around the back of it so that way it can look like I don't know a little bit better and like if it was made like that already so i'm just going to continue on and you can see how it looks once everything is done it's just a nice little simple pattern of whatever <laughs> i decided to do and now i'm just going to go in and paint the enti entire thing in this lovely green paint and of course you can choose whatever color you would like but I'm going with green because it matches my home decor. So I'm just going to add a nice layer all over, let it dry, and I'm going to add even one more layer. So two full layers of this paint just to get it really nice and coated. And if you are not new around here, then you know that at the end of my videos, I do a secret word for my loyal viewers that make it to the end of my videos. So for today, comment down below in the comment section the word beach because we made that beautiful beach sign. So comment down below beach and I will know that you made it this far into my video and you know that I appreciate you. So thank you very much. And thank you to everyone who tuned into today's video. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked today's DIYs. Also, let me know which one was your favorite from today. I love to hear from you as well. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed week. God bless my friends. I will see you all on the next one. Bye.